Welcome to Talk with Taz Live. It has been a minute since I have been live. Thank you for hanging in there with me. I hope you can hear me this morning as I try to project a little louder. I've had uh, the cooties, but all is well. Uh, I hope that my voice is much clearer than what it has been. I've missed you guys, and so much has been happening um, to loved ones, um, that I know and other folks loved ones and just in the world in general from the loss of businesses and communities so many things have been happening and as I've been meditating on all the things that are happening in our world that we really don't control this message is what was given to me and I'm going to hopefully share it with you as I had to remind myself, we're not going to say hopefully, I'm going to share it with you in the spirit that it was given to me. We must speak with conviction. And I have to remind myself of that because remember, I'm just a fleshly person, just like everybody else. So to give you what was given to me, I'm going to attempt to not go off script. Now that part, I will say attempt. But I want you to hear what I'm saying because I want you to get this lesson today. I think it's imperative that we all get it not only in our mind, but in our heart. We all have faith in something or someone. How do you activate your faith to deal with everyday life? Faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. What is the object of your faith? What is your faith's foundation? In other words, what is it grounded in? Faith does not have to be your statue, your job title, your reputation, or your zip code. It aligns to hearing, the understanding, the accepting, and then the applying of the word of God. Daily, we encounter circumstances that prove challenging. And it would be easy to play the blame game instead of actively seeking what is needed to resolve our circumstances. Ask and it shall be given. Seek and you shall find. Knock and it shall be opened unto you. For everyone that seeketh, for everyone that asketh, receive. And he that seeketh, findeth. And to him that knocketh, it shall be opened. The woman with the issue of blood was tired of being miserable, but didn't play the victim. She wanted respect, not outwardly, but inwardly, because the law of the land said that she was supposed to be ostracized. Others were not supposed to come near her because of her affliction. She was not only experiencing a physical discomfort, but an emotional uneasiness. She was not comfortable in her situation and decided she was going to get the help she needed. Tired of being shunned, looked down on, demonized, belittled, she used her faith to seek her joy. Knocking on doors, she kept the saving faith in her mind and her heart and did not let the judgment of others distract her from her goal. Don't play the victim role out of fear. Saving faith will not allow you to play the blame game. The woman with the issue of blood life is an illustration of faith being tested. And guess what? She passed the test because she didn't blame others for her misfortune. She kept seeking her joy until she heard about a man called Jesus. The broader lesson for us is that we cannot just learn a new truth without practicing the truth. It is in the practice that the power of the spiritual truth is unleashed in our life. It is in that practice of it that the spiritual truth is unleashed in our life. Practice means to simply live the truth with the understanding that the Lord is my shepherd and I shall 
not want. The Lord is my shepherd and I shall not want. When you can't say anything else, when you can't think anything else, just say, the Lord is my shepherd and I shall not want. We talk about affirmations. Let that become an affirmation. The Lord is my shepherd and I shall not want. The question today, as we deal with personal, professional, community, and global uncertainty, what is the object of your faith? What is the object of your faith? This has been Talk with Taz. I pray that you receive what you have been praying, meditating, seeking, knocking on doors for. For I am a witness that the Lord is my shepherd and I shall not want. Until next time, take care of you. Bye now.